Lunch and Cooking with Culture. Today we will be making some French crepes. Some of the basic ingredients that you will need to do this is all-purpose flour, you'll need some vanilla, as well as ground cinnamon, and then let's go over to the fridge and see what we can get out of there. Alrighty, so what do we need out of here? Maybe one or two of those. Some butter, blueberries, strawberries, and milk. Alrighty, to make the batter for the sweet crepes, you're going to need about a cup of all-purpose flour, a little dash of salt, a sprinkle of ground cinnamon, a splash of vanilla, a cup and a third of some whole milk, and four eggs. Now you're going to want to make sure that you keep your wet and dry ingredients separate until you're fully ready to mix them. So let's get started. beaten up. Arr. <laughs> so we are ready to go over to the stove area and turn the heat on so that we can start making these sweet thin treats. You're going to want to turn it on about a medium heat of four through five. Mine gets really really hot so I might end up turning it down to the three but we don't know quite yet so Let's keep the on rolling until we get there. So while the pan in the back is heating up, we're going to grab the cutting board and start cutting up these delicious looking strawberries. Alrighty, so let's get that right there. And we got a little paring knife. Now I've already rinsed these before I took them out of the container, so we're all good to go here. If we can just get it open, which way? Okay. So now, when I do this, I just like to cut off this, the very, very top, and then in half, and then put them down, and just make little nice happy slices. Happy, happy slices of fruit. I'll just continue on for about three or four more strawberries because gotta eat healthy. And then for the blueberries, oof, there's a little flower on there. I'm just going to take them out, put them on here, and just give them a nice little smash. 
so that they're not as roly roly poly on the crepes. So let's put just a few in this bowl. And who doesn't like blueberry juice? Perfect. I'm so excited. Now that we got the blueberries and strawberries all chopped up, it's time to head over to the stove area. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna fill this. I'm going to open up the butter. And just fully butter the pan before I pour the batter on. Making sure it gets around all of the edges. So this should be a pretty quick process. Just continuously moving around the batter until it starts to bubble around the edges. Just give it a light turn. And I'm gonna grab a plate from up top. Cause this sweet thing's almost ready. Alrighty, I guess, oh no, <laughs> let's move it right here, and, oh, <laughs> we missed the plate by an inch. Whew, there's one. Alrighty, now let's repeat that process for maybe another three or four. stuffing of them. So we're going to eat these bad boys now. So let's start off with some whipped cream. Thank you for watching.